Don't you hate couples like that? Oh, cuddly and happy. I mean, don't they know the world we live in? There's hunger and war and pestilence. What is pestilence? Hi. Hi. <laughs> you see what I mean? It's so cute, it's disgusting. Mm. You look so hot. <laughs> You're hot. Oh. Why don't we, uh... And a little dirty, too. Good dirty. <laughs> Playful dirty. <laughs> no, you can't. Go ahead, have your way with me. <laughs> oh, I can't. What? You'll be late. Who cares? The chief, the governor, oh, the God. free world yeah, man? The governor's coming, so I'm crying. Crying, as in it. busting international jewel thieves like Cyrus Foley, who, by the way, is walking around after I busted him with that box of jewelry, turned it into the police. Don't worry about that jerk. The box doesn't nail him. I'm gonna take this. He'll be arrested soon enough. Not soon enough for me. Okay, I got it. Pestilence. It's a disease, a really bad one, that destroys everything it comes into contact with. And that's Cyrus the Virus for you. Trying to eat through everything I have worked so hard for. I can't let that happen. Dinah? I just got off the phone from Frank. Do they open the box? Did they find the jewelry from the robbery? Yes. They found rocks. Diamonds? No, rocks, as in Fred and Barney Flintstone rocks. That freak! You set me up! There's a little box about yay big, hidden not far from here. A little box with a lot of jewelry inside. So you want me to do it? I know what you're thinking, babe. Yeah. I'm thinking Cyrus would look good as a piggy bank with the hole in the center of his forehead. Hey, please don't worry about this guy, okay? We will get him. Hey, look at me. I'm gonna solve this, okay? Don't worry about this guy. Do you trust me? Completely. Good. I will see you at the ceremony. Love you. I love you too. All right, don't you dare say it. You think I've tempted fate, don't you? Jinx my perfect little life by going on about how great Mallet and I are together. Well, let me tell you something. It's going to take a hell of a lot more than a shady ex-con to ruin me. Cyrus still inside? Go nail him. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll have a chat. Ah, oh, hello, Constable Mallet. What brings you to this neck of the woods? A stolen bicycle, perhaps? Or a little kitty cat stuck up a tree? Huh. Let's get something straight here. I will not allow you to screw up Dinah's life. She's worked too hard to turn it around, and she's worked too hard to forget fungus like you. Well, and I'm pretty unforgettable. But that's beside the point. <clears throat> get out. Excuse me? I think you heard me. Get out. Cyrus, I know why you're here. You want to pay Dinah back for sending you to prison. What? I'm very fond of Dinah. I told her I'm even willing to forgive her for those long, miserable years I spent in shackles. But then, I'm just a forgiving sort of guy, I guess. So what say you and me just shake like two gentlemen and let bygones be bygones? Why, it's just not uh, making myself clear here. You see, this is my town. The chief of police, Frank Cooper, he's a good friend of mine. Actually, he's my best friend. Oh, it's nice to know you have someone. Now, tell me the truth. Don still fancies me, doesn't she? I'm gonna say this one time, okay? So I want you to listen very carefully. Are you listening? Are you listening? Good. You have 24 hours to leave Springfield. If you don't, I will send you packing myself. Maybe you think I'm exaggerating when I say how gray Mallet is. 
It would make things a lot easier if he was as messed up as me, less to live up to. Nah, actually, I never wish that. He's the best thing to ever happen to a screw-up like me. What do you get a guy for being named to a commission? Tulips? Daisies? Oh, maybe daffodils. <gasps> or posies. Oh, or a pot of plant. Yeah, that's bigger. These are beautiful. They're perfect. All those thorns. You double crossed me. Tell how you look at it. Well, you gave the box I asked you to retrieve to your copper boyfriend. No surprise there, I knew you would. You know about that box? Oh, shh, it's okay. You'll always be the same. The girl who'd do anything to score what she wants. I don't have what you want. Mummy does. What about that? development company she and Maddie are starting. They're building this huge new complex just outside of town. Serious investors, I hear. Millions and millions of dollars in seed money just waiting to be planted in my hands. I can't steal from my family. Your decision, babe. Or if you like, I could expose A.C. Mallet for the man that he really is. Oh, really? Mallet's a cop. He has a past that is squeaky clean. Except for a few sleep arounds. You sure about that? Good, honorable men can be pushed to the edge sometimes, Dee Dee. They can go too far. How sure are you really that Mallet doesn't have something in his past to be ashamed of? Dirty little secret or two that, should it come out, could destroy him? That's what I thought. 